coach Manny Nowak on handling interruptions successfully. Hello, Coach Manny Nowak with you again. And what are we talking about today? We're going to continue our discussion from last week about interruptions. Last week we talked about how to schedule them. Today we're going to hand, talk about how do you handle those interruptions and what are the three most critical interruptions that seem to drive you crazy. More on time management, right? My name is Coach Manny. You see the website, the phone number, questions, give us a buzz. We are here to teach you to be a great entrepreneur. Handling interruptions successfully. So, what are the three top interruptions? Well, I think most of us understand one of the first ones is calls. Right? Calls coming in. Calls coming in. Yeah, I'm, calls coming in. And yeah, I'm going to use the board a little bit, which is different than what I've done in the past. But I think it's time we started looking at, you know, the stuff in a little more detail. So, calls. How do you handle a call? How do you determine I'm going to answer the call or I'm not going to answer the call? What makes that determination for you? And caller ID, I hear some entrepreneurs, especially people who are working for themselves without a staff or anything yet, and they say, well, I look at the caller ID. When you look at the caller ID, here's what happens, and, and catch me if I'm wrong here. You look at the caller ID and you say, I don't know who that number is. Should I pick it up or shouldn't I? Or, oh, I know who that number is. I wonder what they want. Should I really let it go? Eliminate that. Today, it's real simple. Today, you can get yourself a service. And the service is aren't like these old, old answering services. Today, the services are really good. And the technology is amazing. So you can have somebody answer your phone and they can be anywhere in the world. They can have any voice that you like. And they can answer the phone and they can say whatever you want them to. They can do whatever you want. They, you can tell them every day in an email. You can tell them, you know, today, uh, if these people call, I want you to put it through to me. Otherwise, send them to voicemail. If it's, a, if it's solicitors or anything else, just dump them. You can tell that service, and or you can say, you know, send me an email if it's these people. That's the power. And we're not talking about an expensive proposition here. This is so reasonable. If your business is starting to move, this can save you immense time, effort, and energy in dealing with the phone. So get that service. Get it soon, because it will make a difference. And if you don't know what to get or who to talk to, give me a call. There's the number, or send me an email. The email is simply manny at mannynowack.com. I'll connect you with some great people. The second interrupter. So we got the calls here, and they are really causing a problem, aren't they? The second thing is email. Email. Oh, my gosh, what happens? You got mail. What was that great movie, Sleepless in Seattle, where that came from? You got mail. But it doesn't say you got mail and you got to look at it. It just says you got mail. Turn it off. Or you have a smartphone and it vibrates or it rings or whatever. Turn that off, first of all. Every time I get a new phone, first thing I turn off is any notification that I got email. Second thing is, on your email, on your smartphone, and on your desktop, change it to where you have to pull the email, not where it comes down automatically. The third great thing is get yourself a filter. Get someone to filter your email. Yeah, you can set up some filters so things go into certain um, folders, but you can do better. You can set up a phantom email, and what happens is when your email goes out, it goes to your somebody else and they look at it and 90% of the emails they probably dump 2% they send to you and what and the other 8% they'll send to you later 
get a filter because you can't be looking at email all the time and get anything done. You can't be taking the phone all the time and get something done. I want to tell you, this is a simple formula. I won't write the formula. Let me tell you a story. This will save you 90 minutes a day. Here's what happens. You get an email. You got mail. Oh, I better look at it. You look at it and you think about it. One minute, it's going by. Just a minute. And you say, well, I better respond. So you write something up quickly and you say send. Two minutes. One minute to look at it, one minute to respond. And now you got to get back to where you were. Another minute. That's three minutes. Okay. Now, three minutes per email. And let's say you're, you're not getting a lot of emails that you have to deal with. 30 emails. Three minutes, 30 emails equals 90 minutes. What could you do with an extra hour and a half a day? If you're a professional billing, you can bill another hour. And you can double, you can pay for the whole week of a service. The third one's a little tougher to deal with. The third one is other people. Or just people. This guy right here. People interrupting you all the time. People don't have a lot of respect for our our time. If you're in a cube or in your then you you can't even shut the door. You have to put up a sign that says leave me alone or I'm busy and then you take a lot of ridicule. Well, what do you think? You're better than everybody? You're an entrepreneur. You're a professional. You're an executive. You need to be left alone. If you have a door, shut the door and educate people. When my door is shut, and my door isn't always shut, but when it is, I'm busy. And I need you just to leave me alone. And learn to say that magic word. And the magic word here isn't please. The magic word is no. And oh, no, I can't make another meeting tomorrow. I've got a full day. No, I can't take on another project until the week after next. No, as much as I'd like to meet with you this afternoon, I am fully booked. Because if you follow what we taught many weeks ago, which is the process of prioritization, then you know when to say no. Right? Know when to say no. I want you to remember that because if you can just do this, if you can do these three magical things, you will be amazed at how much more you can get done. These three magical things, call, screen them. Get someone to get rid of all those calls that you don't need to be bugged with. If you can sit down in your office and work on something, it's amazing. Email. If you don't... Most people today, no matter what level you're at, entrepreneurs, executives, everybody, they're spending hours dealing with this. And for a few dollars, you can get it taken care of. Get your email screen, get your call screen, and learn to say no. Because even if you do these two, it's going to help you. But if you don't learn to say no to the stuff that's not a high priority, you're still going to allow this stuff to slow you down. And remember, the key to all that we're doing is success, right? Success coaching. Manny Nowak. It's always my pleasure. The phone number, the website, the blog. If you just add blog to that, you'll come to the blog. Everything we do is always out on the blog. So... It's always my pleasure. Get those interruptions under control and have a great day.